there was a radiating light that that came from his his his, his body his spiritual body hallelujah then i could connect with that i said okay he said my angels were like fluorescent tubes giving out light they made an attempt to to strike but they knew that if they come too close to the red juice of those luminous ones evil things can happen so they came three times and then the third time they now advised themselves not to come again so after the advice they said okay they will come physically that's when they started coming to fellowship to bind us in the spirit physically using spiritual power because they were the ones in control of that spiritual potter that governs the territory so even though we're praying we are not taking possession of the potter so they could still influence us in the territory what i'm telling you it took years to learn years under god to learn i've seen christians that have been manipulated christians destiny that have been shortchanged they speak in tongues there's a place you need to take over there's a place you must reclaim there's a place you must touch hallelujah i say hallelujah I found out that Christianity is not for gentlemen. It's not for people with a tie and a suit trying to speak Queen's English. No. The things that are operating, if you understand the wickedness that's at work, you will learn how to cry. You will learn. So they manipulated us all those months. You know, when that thing broke in the service, it was this place we, we, we colonized. That spiritual spot in that territory. It was that place that our prayers hit. That we felt that something broke. All of us felt it. It was after we colonized that place. That we could now cast out those devils. First testimony. Second testimony. A pastor was sent to a village to pastor a church. God told him that he was going to pastor the largest church in that village. But he was going to go the way of prayer. After four years of pastoring in the village, he had 12 members. If it's you, will, will you still continue? 12 members after, 12, after how many years? After four years. So the guy said, wait, this is not what God told me. It's always good for you to start something with the voice of God because you can go back to God and say, this is not the agreement. I didn't tell you to send me home. I didn't say, I want, I like that place. You, you called me and said, go there. And this is the kind of thing I'm going to You are going to raise a territorial governing church that would, that would sit on the spiritual essence of the city and direct it like a prince. I didn't, I didn't come and say, you called me. And so, this is not what you discuss. What am I not doing right? Those are the things you should be asking yourself. What am I not doing right? God told him, you pray, oh, but you don't pray when the potter that governs your territory is active. Have you ever been to the book of Acts of the Apostles? There are secrets there. I don't know if we can teach it this, in, this time. I will show you that every time people had angelic encounters, would find every time in the entire book of Acts, you will see a pattern. Angels don't just appear like that. The supernatural doesn't just come into the natural like that. That's why some of you may never see angels. And some of us, that's where we live. If you know, there's nothing mysterious about the spirit realm. It's just that it's guarded with secrets. If you know how to touch what you need to touch, some things will change. Even money will. He said you have not been praying at the time when your portal is active. So he now went to the Holy Spirit to ask. When is this time? Say in the night. From 12 to 3. That's when your portal is active. The portal in your city. Why do you, what, by what wisdom do they designate days for market days in your village? And if you are from Benin, you must, you must marry, if you are from the royal family in Benin, you must marry on the market day. By what wisdom? 
did that policy come from? Oh, you are not with me now. You think we can do this beggarly motivational Christianity and contend with the darkness that is raging in our time? You are joking. It's better you backslide and go on the street and look for something else. But if it's the power that is in the kingdom of God, we can't play it the way normal people play Christianity. That Christianity is fake. It's not biblical. Fake. If you make Jesus a part of your life, your life will be wrecked. It's only when you make it the center. Make, you make Jesus the foundation upon which you stand and he orders your life. That's when your life will be such a mystery that darkness cannot infringe upon it. After you finish building with the tools of the flesh, you are expecting God to come and bless it. In fact, it's even criminal to even think that way. It's, it's criminal. Hallelujah! Amen. You know, when we go out, we can't preach like this. But this is why, you know, if you want to... <laughs> If you want to see results, let's say the truth. Stop fooling ourselves and faking ourselves. The man now woke up in the night and began to pray. Pray, prayed for every night, every night. So he changed his prayer time. I have times when I pray. I can sleep the other time. But I know the pattern. I know how to touch it. Changed his prayer time and began to pray. And the Holy Spirit spoke to him that you see this highway, this highway that they just constructed. It, it did not become a highway today. It was a road, a footpath before. And there are many mysteries that are tied under it. So what you do, you get a candle like a uh, candlestick in the night and then light it on the highway and begin to speak what I told you. That's a prophetic action. You will never know why it is candlestick, why it is 12 midnight. God will never explain. Because that is a cold. You see, see the, the pillars of the earth are spiritual. And you will need some codes to touch them. And God will never tell you why you are doing what. It will always be by faith. He began to speak. He began to speak. That's how the church started growing. Now, somebody can look at that in the flesh and now say, it's can't do now, can't do. Then he puts it. Then the demons will multiply. The ones that are oppressing will multiply. Because he did not do it by instruction. That's why I never anoint anybody until the Holy Spirit says so. And if I do so, there must be a sign to show that God sent me. If you attend an anointing service and you live there the same, I, I question where you went. Because there's no physic, there's no power in that bottle. The power is in the Holy Spirit that gave direction. And if he did not give direction, there will be not, he won't prove anything. He won't show that is behind it. So all those month, monthly anointing services that you do is fake. It's psychology. Just to get people, hey, there's something poured on my head. Oh. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> Wake up. Wake up. Those days of Christian psychology are over. It's time to touch God. The real God. Because if some of us did not touch God, we would have died by now. It's time to touch God. It's time to touch God. It's time to touch God. That was how the things that they, God did not tell him that, okay, as I'm sending you to that town, you are going to raise a territorial governing church. You have to do this and that. God didn't tell him. He just went. And then met with failure. Met with resistance. Until he began to inquire. That's why the Bible says, it says, call unto me and I will answer thee. And show thee. Now God will not start showing you things. No. You will call first. You see, the reason why we can do those things and the devil will give ways because the devil is defeated already. If the devil were not defeated, even anything you do, won't work. Now the devil is already defeated. But we are going to have to walk by faith and the leadership of the Holy Spirit to see it evident in the natural. You will touch some things. In order for that your victory to become evident to all. Don't just
just think that because Jesus has paid the price, it will just begin to manifest. The devil doesn't play according to the rules. It's not a, it's an illegal spirit. He must be made to bow. He must be made to submit. Before he will submit. If you don't have the ability to make him submit, it means he will assume that you don't believe your reality. So forget all that faith preaching when they say that you, you, you can't suffer because Jesus suffered. Let me assure you. The reason why you are even going to suffer. Not suffer in doing wrong things or suffer in fulfilling your divine destiny. is because Jesus suffered. That's the reason why you suffer. That's how he altered the path. And your own will not be different. Now, so we are being fed with so much falsehood that the voice of truth, you don't, you don't even know again. Are you still with me today? Yes, sir. Okay. Let me show you some four things. Four things. Then we'll start praying. So you have gotten that point. Anything that controls a spiritual part of a natural thing controls that thing. Have you ever gone to a shrine before? I, I've, I, we were, we, so one guy came and said he wanted to go on campaign. But he wants us to, to follow him to his village to do some things. He's from an idolatrous village. I said, oh. So my, my mentor then said, it's okay. So I, I, I followed. That was the first day I saw a shrine. You will pass through a shrine before you enter the house. The house, the, the, the porch. The porch. You know, that stuff out there is a porch. The porch that you pass through before you enter the house is a shrine. All the ancestors of that family, their graves are in that porch. Oh my. So you can tell that they are necromancers that invoke the spirit of the dead to receive cancer from darkness. Ah. Most of the time, necromancers like that, they use a gong to summon the spirits of the dead to form a conclave. So we now went to pray for the man and that was the first time I was in the shrine. And the shrine was active because they just sacrificed. You, blood was everywhere. On the fender, there was blood. So when you enter there, your head will start growing big. Because they, they are, you are not alone. <laughs> oh la la. <laughs> you are not alone. You just start feeling somehow because there's activity there. So those guys have, been, have found out how to create spiritual activity. And when the activity begins to increase, begins to increase, a city is formed. I hope you know what makes a city is different kinds of activities at the same time. Somebody wants to go to Wurukum, the other one wants to go to North Bank. And the one that wants to go to Wurukum wants to go as much as the one that wants to go to North Bank. And those are two mutually exclusive events. You can enter the bus going to Wurukum, you find yourself in Wurukum. You can also enter the bus going to North Bank, you find yourself where? So when there's much spirit activity, it means many kinds of demons have been brought into that city. And these demons have different abilities. So if you need this ability, you have to discuss with... You are not with me. You need that, you discuss with that one. And that one knows the pillar to touch. And then you begin to see the trend come out in the village. Come out in the city. The mercy man there is laughing because he knows how they created the pattern. And then you want to come and pastor a church there only with a hymn book. <laughs> with hymn book. Praise the Lord. Let the head hear his voice. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let the people return. Before you finish the hymn, you will need Panadol to balance the equation. Because there's activity. There's activity. Creating patterns, creating cycles, creating circles, creating flows, creating demonic life across the land. And you are there singing hymn. You know why that guy has so much knowledge of how to create the convergence of demonic activity? Because he's a priest. The priest is the one that understands the ordinances that control and bind the land. Every spiritual realm has a priest.
preach food that creates spiritual activity around it. The priesthood are the people that are the custodians of the wisdom of that realm and how to create portals, access routes, the influence of that realm in the earth. Are you with me? So you go to Union Greek, you think it's a school. People that see know it's a market. You say you are going to a school. What kind of school do people go and they're dying consistently? Is this school? You don't know the kind of city that is there. You don't know the kind of activity that takes place. And you, you say you are going to school. You collect school fees. And your ID card has access into the place. Meanwhile, you are entering a market. Things are on sale. Your soul too is on sale. Your destiny is on sale. All kinds of sales taking place. And you, you are there with, 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 with knapsack. Say you are doing engineering. The Lord give you understanding. You see, we, we were victims. We were, the, the reason why we are like this, we were victims. <laughs> My father, we got all, all of us at the prayer table. And we say, our father. The prayers didn't work. <laughs> we were a pious and sanctimonious family. And sacramental family. We prayed in the morning and evening. At least Daniel prayed three times. We prayed two. But nothing happened. Until I found out that this our prayer was not enough. Tell your neighbor that your prayer, the way I'm seeing it, is not enough. <laughs> Oi! Palatomalakaya. The priesthood by the inspiration of the spirit that he serves he know, knows how to create activity so spiritual activities are take place around priesthood are you with me priesthood I... okay come with me Deuteronomy 33 Deuteronomy 33. Now let me show you a few things quickly. And then I'll begin to show you our responsibility. What are the things we need to do so that the influence of the spirit that, inf that, that we have contacted will be seen in our families, be seen in the territory, will be seen in our offices, will be seen in the land. Now this one is off mic. Okay? When you are editing this one, you remove this one. When Boko Haram went to bomb UN building, eh? after they bombed it, people as civilized as the UN is, they had talisman under the carpet. Okay. Off is off record. Off record. There, 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 there was activity there. UN. Where, where you wear tie, diplomatic language. Everybody is slick. They had what? You are the only one that doesn't have power. <laughs> you are the only one that doesn't have power. Came to the office, we had a meeting. Off record, off record. I was fasting. I came fasting. Praying in tongues. The person that convened the meeting, the Lord opened my eyes and I saw that it was deeply occultic. Ah. I said, Lord, I will never attend this meeting again until you sack this man. 
So I knew the direction. Because God put me there as a priest. To cleanse that office. Until he reflects Christ. That's my mission there. So I went back. Began to pray in the night. On the seventh night. My eyes were open. I saw a wind coming from heaven. And the wind came to the office. And took the man from the seat and threw him out. So I came boldly to the office. And I prophesied to some of my Muslim colleagues. That I've seen in the visions of God. How this man. His time is short. It took seven days for it to happen. There was a priesthood that brought activity. That's how we change things. You, you, you bring what? Activity. By what wisdom did Abraham sacrifice that offering at better that when his grandson was escaping, the activity was still there. There were angels doing what? Ascending. If the next person in your family dies, you are responsible. You didn't create the activity that will make for life. You allow death to reach. It's your fault. Meanwhile, just in case there's something, your family is besieged. You lose it before this meeting comes to an end. You will see things things off record the senior prophet of the United States of America is is um, Rick Joyner's mentor the man woke up his house is opposite Rick Joyner he just called Joyner said Joyner come then he went to a place in the compound where they put the where they fixed the United States beacon and he put his hand on the beacon and a demon that was standing there became visible. He just wanted to show Joyner that there's activity here. <laughs> he came and put his hand on the beacon. The, the, a demon that was standing there became visible. You are the only one that doesn't know there's activity by your bedside. There's activity in the hostel. There's activity. You, you, you are the only one that does not know. And you say it's a school that you went to. I went to school. I went to the office. Meanwhile, the necromancer has sounded a gong in the office in the night. Gong, gong. The office has become a graveyard. So when that place you say you are going for office is a graveyard. But you go with your fire. Deuteronomy 33. Evil things happen when good people do nothing. And this is a blessing wherewith Moses, the man of God, blessed the children of Israel before his death. These are parting notes, parting gifts that Moses gave. If you are not high in the spirit, you will not understand what he's saying. See, the impact of his maturity in the spirit, his obedience to God, his work with God was playing out in his utterances at this point. This was Moses, not the Moses that ran from Egypt, but the Moses that had assumed this prophetic and apostolic destiny. The Bible says he was the king of Jeshurun, the first king of Israel. He never had a throne, but you see, the anointing he was operating was a reflection on earth of a throne he sat in heaven. Let me not preempt the reading. And he said, The Lord came from Sinai and rose up from Seir unto them. He shined forth from Mount Paran. He came with 10,000 of saints from his right hand, went a fiery law for them. Stop. What is that? What is that? These were the visions that Moses saw. Oh, I can't. It's not for you. Let me leave that scripture. He came with how many saints? That was activity. Moses was telling them that in Israel, eh? in physical Israel, inside of Israel, there was a city. 
You are not with me. There was a spiritual city in Israel. Say the Lord, check the places, man, Paran. Check it. Those were the same places that Habakkuk spoke about. Mount Sia. Those were the same dimensions that intercessor prophets spoke about. I will stand upon my watch to hear what he will say to me and what I will answer when I'm reproved. Write the vision. Wait. Okay. Make it plain upon tables. He said, and the Lord came from Teman and the Holy One from Mount Paran. The earth was, the heavens were full of his glory and the earth was full of his praise. Still Mount Paran. Around that circumference, there was a spiritual city. And the Bible says, God came into that city with 10,000 of his saints. That was the same thing that Enoch said. The Lord is coming with what? That's activity. That's a city. If 10,000 people are in a particular place, there will be activity. Is that not so? Meanwhile, the Bible said that we have come to Mount Zion, which is the city of the living God. We say we have come to, an, to, to the spirits of just men make perfect. It's part of the city. So, yes, it's part of the city. To the church of the firstborn, part of the city. It was not just Paul that started having that insight. Moses saw it. That when God was descending in the spiritual city, there was a fiery law that came out of his hand. So when you see a fiscal city, please look out for the spirit city in that fiscal city. If you have not seen it, you are blind. Hallelujah. It is when you have located the spirit city in that city that you can interpret the activities going on in the physical city. The patterns, the trends, what becomes fashionable, what is exciting, what the youths are craving for, why soccer is becoming so popular, why all these things are happening. And meanwhile, there's nothing wrong with soccer anyway. But I'm saying that when you see something attracting people's attention too much, when you go into the spirit city, in that city, that's when you understand why the attraction is coming. Look at that. All right. Now, so that was Moses' perspective. What happened when Moses came to bring the law was that he entered into a real city. That mountain he climbed, he's now he's telling the true story. When he went to receive the law, eh? it was a city he entered. People say it was a mountain climb. How can you stay 40? You'll be bored for 40 days. He entered the city. There was activity. He came out of the city with a law that was written by the hand of God. <laughs> you have been on earth for too long. Trekking in Urukum. There is a city you need to enter. Hmm. When you function in that city, all right. Meanwhile, we have demonic cities, and we have cities of light, citadels of light. We have Zion, we have Babylon. It depends on the one that is controlling your family right now. If it's Babylon that is controlling your family, then we need a priesthood after the order of Zion, because the priesthood after the order of Melchizedek is a priesthood that is that that serves the priestly services and the impact of that priesthood affects the whole earth so if you are operating that priesthood you can influence the whole earth if you take your office if you stand in your office the ability to influence the whole earth is given to you all right are you with me the Leviticus priesthood could only influence israel but the melchizedek priesthood influenced the whole earth See, I've, sw I was, I've sworn I will not change it. Thou art what? A priest after the order of Melchizedek. I say, ask me and I'll give thee. 
the hidden for thy possession and the outermost part of the earth for thy inheritance. That was actually tied to the Melchizedek priesthood. It's, it's a global priesthood. It affects the entire earth. It can affect Oju. It can affect Togbadigbo. It can affect Ohimini. It can affect Ado. Because it's a global priesthood. It's an earth-based, earth-wide priesthood. Alright? Are you still with me? Now, so, if if a city of darkness is established and your family happens to be under the influence of that city of darkness because the spiritual element under which your family is sitting is controlled by that city then we need to establish a priesthood that is contrary to the priesthood that was that that brought about that civilization and we are going to go into the details i don't want to take too much time so that we can have time to pray Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Amen. You know, if you're going to a city of 10,000 people, I, I, I think you will see a lot of things. A lot of activities. A lot of... So, and if the thing is a spirit city, the way you'll be seeing the things is through revelation and vision. Through impressions, impartations. Hallelujah. Through movements. Through light, through discernment, you begin to decode the activity going on. And then you can now understand that the reason for the fire that is coming out of God's hands is because He wants to write a law. Are you with me? So it was a city that Moses entered. And until God's city comes into our territory, the revival we are talking about is actually ensuring through priesthood that the city of zion comes into the land that's all are you with me ensuring that through priesthood the city of zion comes what now let me give you some examples quickly let's go to the book of acts of the apostles that book is going to be our syllabus for this study And I need you to understand that the cities that the apostles succeeded with ministry are harder cities than this one that we are staying. There were cities that were whole cities given over, over to idolatry. And Paul will enter and say, Are oh, you guys are superstitious? We even dedicated an idol to a, a shrine to a, the unknown God. Built. Those, those cities were given over to idolatry totally. And then Paul now comes in, he begins to touch some things. And then he will tell you that if after the order of men I fought against the beast of Ephesus. Even Paul's entry into Ephesus stopped the worship of great Diana. The, the worship of that goddess is older than Paul. And then one man now enters the land and in a short while people lose interest. He knows what to touch. He brought another city. He brought what? Another city. Have you gotten into that point? So it's either Zion is present or Babylon is present. I need five hours to teach us about Babylon. How it, how it spreads. How it spreads its virus. I will now show you that Zion needs comfort but Babylon does not. Babylon borrows people. But Zion needs what? That's the problem. Babylon can borrow a convert from Zion and use him for a time. Just like tissue paper. Take a little you use and you dump. So somebody can be born again and Babylon will borrow the person. Somebody can be a pastor, a borrowed pastor. <laughs> it's where, he, he knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, you know, it was here I told the story where some we were Abby, how many how many were we eight friends and we vowed we took an oath that me i will not allow the devil walk through me i will not allow the devil walk through me i will not allow the devil i'm ready to suffer to make sure that the devil doesn't take advantage of me to do his work here do you know it was 25 minutes exactly after we took an oath that the devil moved through one of us 25 
Babylon came 25 minutes later. So Babylon is not even afraid of the oath you take. That you, well, we look at that, okay? We'll look at that. Let's just go to the book of Acts of the Apostles and then let us start this course. Let's start it where? Hallelujah. So that we can identify Babylon when it's spreading. You can know a man that is borrowed. You can know when to stand, when to walk away, when to run. All right? You can know how to choose your battles. No, this one, no, I can't, I can't fight here. Are you with me? Ask quickly. So let's start the journey. I'll just show you one thing. When I show you that one thing successfully, I'll shut down so that we can pray. We can use at least 15 minutes to pray. Tomorrow we'll continue. Amen? I will keep going like that. Giving quality time to prayer so that things will begin to break out. Things will begin to break out. We prayed in the city of Kano. God told us, your prayer is not sufficient. At night VG. I will show you that there are times when your two-hour prayer is not sufficient. Because if there is going to be a change, if you are going to dethrone Babylon, then first of all, there must be an equilibrium. Eh? You are not here. You are from a family that, you have an uncle that sacrificed 27 of his children in order to get spiritual rank in witchcraft. And you think you can just come there and say, Zebelento Olama. And then you take over. <laughs> you are, you are, even you, you are not truthful to yourself. <laughs> you, are, you are starting to become fake. Because there must be equilibrium. If you, are, if you switch on an electric iron and never takes light, it will still be hot. You, you can't come and speak in tongues and then they hit you. No, he gained it over time. It's an everlasting door. I will tell you the difference between a, an ancient gate and what? An everlasting door. There are protocols you need to observe to sack them. A demon has been operating in somebody for 25 years. Huh? Those are the kind of demons if you want to cast out the demon will be so pained. Ah! I'll be here. <laughs> Those are the type that talk. <laughs> ah! I'll be here. I'll be here. I'll be here. Ask all the apostles, turn with me. Let's begin a diligent study of the scriptures. Hallelujah. I hope you are not offended. Uh, you see, this platform speaks truth. There are many people that came in when they heard truth, they said, no. Doesn't he know that I'm a businesswoman? That these things don't apply in the business world? They left. Just in case you're offended, don't come tomorrow. We are tired of fake Christians in my country. Uh, Witchcraft is on the rise. Darkness is on the rise. We need few people that can come together and, and take a, an oath that we will close the gates of the devil. If we are sure that the devil, you won't be borrowed, we'll be stronger. Now, in the book of Acts of the Apostles, I need to show us a few things quickly. Maybe in the next ten minutes. That which you call the activities that took place on the day of Pentecost did not begin on earth. They began where? In heaven. When Peter came to describe, to explain what had happened in heaven that resulted in the outpouring that the people of the land were seen, he traced it to a coronation service in heaven. He said, this Jesus that you, cru you crucify right now in heaven, God has coronated him both Lord and Christ. He had received two honors in heaven and he has also received the honors of being at the high, right hand of God, which is the highest attainable honor that was in the kingdom of God and in the universe of God. Now, when we say that Jesus is, is, is seated at the right hand of God, we are saying that he has assumed the highest honors of the kingdom of heaven. It is based on that honor that he assumed that the Bible says that he was given a name. I hope you know that the angel said his name will be called Jesus because he will deliver his people from what? Yes. So we know that name. 
So what does the Bible mean in the book of Ephesians? That he was given a name. Was it nomenclature? Was it not the same name Jesus that we know? So why would the scripture say he was what? His name was adopted as a signet of stature that will open every realm of God's universe. His name was that signet that could open the realm of the heavens, command obedience in the earth, command submission beneath the earth. His name was adopted and given that stature. Are you with me now? It is because of the honor that he received in the kingdom after the sacrifice that he did that was accepted by the Father. Are you with me? Now, just like we have in Nigeria, if you are going to be honored, we have the Grand Commander of the Niger. That's the highest honor that we have in Nigeria. Is that not so? Please educate me if you are in political science. You know better. That's what I know. Grand Commander of what? That's the highest we have around. Is that not so? We have commander of the order of what? We have commander of the Federal Republic. C-O-F-R. Then we have the grand commander of the Niger. That's the highest. G-C-O-N. But in the kingdom of God, Someone that receives the honor of the Father's right hand is the one that has the highest honor in that kingdom. It was on the strength of that that his name was ad adopted as a signet of authority that will open the realms of heaven, command submission in the earth, and command an obedience in hell. You understand that? It was in that coronation service that the Bible reveals that a rushing mighty wind came from heaven. That service that began that we call Pentecost has its roots where? Now, these are a few things. There are a few things I need you to see. Are you still with me? You are not with me now. Oh. You see, so what happened on the day of Pentecost was that the spirit city of Zion had received a base on earth. They are not here. Zion had received what? Meanwhile, there were 10 days of prayers non stop that the apostles were offering. And they were even taking roll call in those their prayer meetings. Should I show you the roll call? Okay. Just so that you will not pray for two days and escape. There we know. There was a roll call. Acts of the Apostles chapter 1. Roll call. And they returned unto Jerusalem from the Mount Olivet, which is from Jerusalem a, a Sabbath day's journey. And they were come in and went up into an upper room where abode Peter and James and John and Andrew and Philip and what is that? Roll call. And Evangelist Chris. And Tony. And Mrs. Budu. Roll call. Why would you waste so much pages in the scripture to be mentioning they did roll call? So that you will not pray for two days and escape. Because there were 500 people that went to escort Jesus when he vanished. He ascended. But the day the visitation came, there were 120. How, how, that was why Roke, there was need for Roko. They were praying for 10 days and creating ethnic permission for heavenly interference. A priesthood has been erected. And as they were praying and praying, they reached a tipping point. And they were in alignment with heaven. Somehow, by the mercies of God, coronation was taken in heaven, taking place in heaven. They were in alignment. They were in alignment. And then God released his spirit like a rushing mighty wind. And a spirit city was formed with 120 people. Now that a spirit city had been formed, it's as if the heavens had been mirrored into the earth. Are you with me? Now you need the spirit of wisdom and revelation to discern the movements in the heavens and then to 
build structures that are representative of those movements on earth. That's what priesthood does. Are you with me? Now, let me explain. It, it's, it's too complex, so I'll break it down. You see, in the realm of heaven, Jesus just... No, let me use a scripture. A scripture will make you understand it more. Oh, I won't open it. Open Psalms 110 verse 1. Psalms 110 verse 1 says, And the Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand, until I make thy enemies thy footstool. That was a coronation service. Jesus was invited to sit at God's right hand. Now that is not right as per geography. That is what? The greatest honors in the kingdom of heaven. You get it? Okay. When Jesus sat down, he said, I'm going to make your enemies your footstool. And it happens to be that the enemies of God are on earth. Get that? That's where his enemies are. And the father now said, now that you have finished your work, you sit down. I'm going to make your enemies bow at your feet. And how was God going to do that? Verse 2 now said, and the Lord shall send forth the rod of his strength out of Zion. Rule thou in the midst of dying. Now the rod of God's strength in that scripture is talking about the Holy Spirit. That's how God is going to achieve the submission. The Holy Spirit. So that's what happened on the day of Pentecost. Now that Jesus was coronated, who came? The Holy Ghost came like a rushing mighty wind. A spirit city was formed. Now our duty now is to partner with the Holy Spirit until we make the enemies of Christ his footstool. You get that now? You get that? Very simple. But I need to understand that heaven is a city. Heaven is a nation. And there are activities in heaven. And the activities in heaven actually take place around the king of heaven. You get it? So if we know the movements of the throne, the proceedings taking place in the heavens, we must have a way of picking it so that we can raise structures on earth that reflect that which is going on in heaven. That's how we can trap the dimensions of God down. Is it too complex? Now, we are going into the practicalities. First of all, I'm establishing the doctrine so that you know it's biblically founded. Then, we go into the practicalities and go into the prophetic aspect. The ones that you cannot feel and touch, that you can only understand by faith. Faith is also a means of understanding. Faith is not just because the Bible says by faith we understand. There's an understanding that comes by faith. By faith we understand that the walls were framed by the word of God and that the things that are seen were not made by things that do what? So there's an understanding that comes by faith. Now as we, we, we establish it in doctrine, the understanding that comes by faith can find expression. If you are still with me, say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Now I want you to see the spirit of wisdom and revelation operational in the apostolic day. Because the book of Acts of the Apostle will be a syllabus for this teaching. Now, this guy, the spirit city was formed. Boom! The Holy Ghost had come. He had found expression. The reason why he came was because the atmosphere he found on earth was conducive. That atmosphere gave credence to his lordship. That's why he came. The secret of spirit power. If you want the Holy Ghost to be powerful in your life, I just acknowledge that he's your Lord. That's all. I know it, 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 <laughs> it didn't come to you. You will forget it. It didn't come to you as a revelation. Your Lord. So when you lie and it prompts you, you confess and beg. Your Lord. Hmm? Just acknowledge that he's your Lord. Treat him like that. Speak to him with fear and trembling. When you talk to him, speak only truth. Don't try to. He knows too much. If you lose your virtue of sincerity in dealing with him, you will lose him. Because he knows too much. Are you with me? Give him the place of lordship. Hallelujah. Lordship in your life. He will, he will tabernacle. He will stay. He will make you conscious of his activity. He will give you the impartation that will give you the consciousness of what he's doing part-time in your life. But when you treat him like a stranger, 
He will be a mystery around your environment. He will not open up. He will not allow you to know what he's doing because you have not given him his throne. Alright? So those guys were actually submissive to the lordship of Jesus. And so the Holy Spirit found it comfortable for him to set up his dimensions in their midst. Okay? By the time we get to the book of Acts of the Apostles chapter 2, more insight and revelation had come to the apostles as to how to manage those dimensions of God that they were handling. Can we proceed? Are you with me? Yes, All right. In Acts of the Apostles chapter 2, verse is verse 42 that begins to give us insight into their apostolic community. Acts 2, 42. Please stand with me and I'm going to pick one thing and then we'll close. Hallelujah. Amen. Now in Acts 2, 42, the Bible says they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayers. Somebody say four point agenda. Uh, I, I told you that these guys were responsible by priesthood to build up physical structures that would track down the dimensions of heaven. Now, in order for them to build these physical structures, they had to design the movements of God in that city. You see, it happens to be that you are not coming to that city. You are already in that city. See, and so you need the spirit's education to tell you the activity that is going on in the, in the city. Spirit's education. You will find out that you need more of the gift of discernment of spirit to know what God is doing and what God is saying and how God is moving much more than you need that gift to discern demons and to discern devils. Because if you are going to understand the movements of God, then it will, it will be by the discernment of the spirit. Because God moves inside of you. He moves. His voice, his words, because he doesn't speak any human language. His voice and his words are trapped in the move of his spirit. See, when his spirit begins to move inside of you, you know that God wants to speak. How many of you know, have, have mastered the feeling of knowing that God is about to speak? How many of you have mastered it? You just, you know the feeling. You see, it was your spirit that the Holy Ghost educated to that level. Such that you know that me, when I have that feeling, I need somebody to play the guitar. And then when you begin to play the guitar, I will know, I will discern that movement and know what it's, it's actually for. Are you with me? Movements. So, uh, let, me, let me go forward. So, they had four-point agenda. Let's name it again. One. Apostles doctrine two three four what was the effect and fear came upon every soul many wonders and signs were done by the apostles and all that believed were together and had all things in common and sold their possessions and goods and parted them to all men as every man had need and they continued daily in one accord in the temple and breaking up bread from house to house did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart, praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to the church daily, such as you be saved. You know what the Bible is trying to make us understand here? Zion is entering into the earth. That's, that's a city entering. All those activities were sustained because a spiritual city had entered into their community. That was what was happening. But see, you need to understand that in order for that city, for the dimensions of heaven to be trapped on the ground, they had to raise structures. And that is the four-point agenda of the apostolic church. Now, I want to talk about the first structure, which is prayer. Ah! Uh, you see, at this point, we will take the linguistic approach. We need to go into the original Greek to study what was written there because when we go to the original greek you will see it was not prayer that was written there it was the prayer are you with me prayer is general this one is what a specific kind of prayer not 
prayer but what day what is the prayer what was he making reference to speaking in tongues and that was why paul said i am glad that i what i speak in tongues more than all of you in order for the dimensions of heaven to penetrate into the earth they had to create the structures from the earth through priesthood that we trap those dimensions one of the structures they had to put in place was what the prayer you want god to visit your family eh? you want the patterns and the circles and cycles to be altered so that a new civilization will break out the prayer bro have you ever spoken in tongues for 10 hours in your life 10 hours no, don't laugh, don't laugh, don't laugh. A brother on campus those days came to me and said, I've seen you in the spirit. There's signs, there's wonders and miracles in you, but it will never come until you start speaking in tongues for long. He said, me, I don't have signs much in me. If not, I would have done crazy things by now but you you have science inside that was when i learned how to i went to Otoko and learned how to pray i entered the room i prayed in tongues my highest limit was three hours so i prayed in three hours my tongue was dry then i fell asleep woke up prayed three hours again prayed prayed like that for three days you will do that a lot if you want to create the gangway that angels will step upon and touch down here. Now, people don't build the structures, but they want intervention. They like the angelic realm. When somebody says, I see this, I say, oh my God, when will my eyes be open? <laughs> Bolo siaka mandela. Hey, that was where I discovered that Martina is food. Because you buy it, eh? I shall pray and pray. When you become weak, that's the work of Martina. That's why God gave inspiration for you to be good. It's a, it's a close companion in the journey. Ooh, when you take a shot, your strength will come back. Because there's no point praying when there's no strength. So, Meleka Malabala Balabala. If you start praying for 10 hours for 3 days, the witch in your compound will beg you. Say, somebody will die. Oh. Because what you are doing, you are calling a city. You are calling it. You are calling it. You are calling it. A day will come, there will be a rushing mighty wind. The prayer. Manta ores esala. Yes, that's how you create the gangway. You create the gangway. A time will come, the, an angel will leave the atmosphere of heaven and not know how he came to your zone. Then activity begins to take place. Activity begins to take place. And before you know it, a city, a city, a city is established in your territory. A thousand saints. And the Lord comes with the law, the fiery law in his hands. You don't bring the law to establish a set national assembly. That's where they have the maze. But the Bible said the Lord, yes, it's an assembly. It's a court. When it, came, when it comes with the law, the land will be regulated to function by the laws of God to be regulated. If lawlessness still takes place in your family, it's because you have not yet woken up. People can die when the witchcraft people want it. Evil things can happen. People can become afflicted. Accidents can take place. People can become maimed just because the witchcraft court has, has decided that you'll be so because there's no priesthood. Bring in a city. Bring in a city into that place and pray the prayer without ceasing. The Bible says, long time about there. Speaking boldly in the Lord. He said, long time. 
you will speak in tongues for long before you see the effect because you will create a city before the city begins to speak long time about there speaking boldly in the lord which gave testimony unto the word of his grace and granted that signs and wonders be done by their hands you know how we started the day prophecy comes forth will go and thank god a time came a city started a city a city a city a city until i went to malawi a crippled guy the leg was twisted hallelujah when i even saw him my faith left because he, he was not looking good actually so i put my hands upon him and say look upon me the young boy began to walk <laughs> many miracles diverse signs and wonders took place in one service 11 deaf people began to hear I was going to the airport i saw a deaf man and i was telling him about jesus ha having the power to heal the deaf i didn't pray the ear open and he was deaf from when he was small till when he became old just five minutes just stuck hey, boom. and the guy said that the ear was clear the time comes when signs and wonders become commonplace because a city has been constructed can you rise up god will impart you with the anointing to build a city in your locality to build a city in your home to build a city in your office he will empower you with the tools required to take that city of zion and plant it in your village and plant it in the corridors of your existence and plant it around your life the Bible said they continue steadfastly in the prayer. The prayer. The prayer. Can you lift up your voice as we go in tongues right now? Some strange activity will begin to take place right here. God will begin to open things. Many things will begin to break out. Many things will begin to come. The city God wants to use you to construct something to bring about a presence to bring about a power to bring about a kingdom I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ for it is the power of God unto salvation to them that believe Oh, I am not a saint of the gospel of Christ. It is the power of God unto salvation. Them not I am not a sin. I am not a sin of the gospel. Oh, I can't have a brother. Oh, my brother, I Shabonga sala branta babora baskata branta babalata bazana. Maraska tapega de la balata. Anything that can stop you from speaking in tongues has the ability to control your destiny. Morosa se se. Ento kabata baskata branta babolata. Empa taka sata babola bazana. Ento kada basata babola balata. Enta bala bala nshaka bala ta. Enta boza mandela. Leta kata branta babola masanta. Abarasa kata branta babola madaha. Abarasa kamba. Long time about day speaking boldly in the Lord. Who gave testimony unto the word of His grace 
and granted that signs and wonders might be done by their hands. Mira tabela, praisa compora nasti, sevele la brasca bola na chandala, raheze zazana, para compo, pacusato, para nasce, aranto balanda. Elo, elo. You can command the war to end. You can command the death to cease. You can command the voice to be sought. Abaleso man says, Abaleso men a capre sada balata. Abaleso men sa saka manta bregate. Ropetasa le bronsa mande kale rabo se zazo preska patande. And oh mama. Hey Lord. So glad the Moronda Sabalada Baboya. This is your time. This is your season. Kovase. Ante. 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 Marakambra Salama. So prate la mabara ascendo ma. For out of among them will come forth the voice of thanksgiving and the voice of them that make merry. And I will multiply them and there shall not be few. And I will glorify them and they shall not be small. Hey, la madesto. Ika baraba sata bara. Me presenta babola baskanda. Me presenta da kabalata malata. Me presenta brigada la bakuria ma. Rakatan de sata tata tata tata. Rakatan de zazina zaila tata. Rakatan de zebrete. Kopatuala. 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 Ah. Hey, mama, mama. Satoni ma kape. Bas e. Bas e. Bas e. Balatanse kabata la babole. Let my people go that they may serve me. Let my people go that they may serve me. Oh Lord. Sila marada abasa, koma la balaba seraga de la bakuria mama, sepra kata babala, baseta. You can tear that city down. You can tear that city down. You can bring it down right now. You can bring it down. You can bring that city down. You can bring it down. You can bring it down. Oh, oh, Lord! Kande se sa 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 sa. Kande de do do ba 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 Santa. De do 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 ba Santa. De pra Santa ba bora balataya. Yeta ke sata baba tanta, Ebra makate babore, baba baba baba, 
in kabasekete ulani zabail. Ah, malo. Kovesasa na mamara. Ika pata balaba santa baboria. Hey, abakapa, bakapata babarata. Sata baraba ba santa baboy. Sata baraba bore bakate bala. Sata beskate, sata beskate, akabeskate, mata beskate, bara santa bala. Pull that city down. Sawota bu avaya sokaba. Oh yes. Mata sokle teta tabaka taba. Mata sata braska tabira babalata. Mata saila braska tabira babalata. Bakata la babola bagodaba, bakata la babola balabala, bakata la babola basataria, enta braga basata bala, enta bala bagoskete, enta bala babarakata, hasenta mena kadiata. Hey amado satata, hey amado, hey amas saleba, 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 ante bababa. Sopate prasanta babolo kote bala. Sabela mambali, ule babala bala. Oh la 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 Oh la 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 Oh la In Jesus name Now because of time Because of time, I want to ask God for just one thing right now. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. God will reveal it. Just close your eyes. Let's deal with these chains first. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Those people in this hall whose hands are chained, locate them. Locate them. He's coming. He's coming strong. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Locate them. Locate them. Say chain. Say chain. Say. To that potter, this thing we are doing, except it affects the potter, the chain cannot break because the chain is coming from a city. You understand that? You will affect that potter. Your author, your authority must affect that potter before it can change anything in the city. Now, you see the Lord. Ah. See, the chains, they break on their own accord. Just like Joshua said, that the prison doors open by themselves. This is an example. It's a prototype. Father, let me breathe on here. See, the chain is gone. We want to disarm some things that Babylon has put upon you. Are you with me today? We can disarm it. This is 
the examples, the prototype. Ah, Jesus. Jesus. Now, what we do, we'll speak in tongues for two minutes because of time. As we are speaking in tongues, things will begin to break by themselves. I think that's the easiest way. Things will begin to break. Some people will begin to manifest. Things will begin to break. The city will begin to lose hope. Now, two minutes, just two minutes. Raise your voice to the Lord. Two minutes, just two minutes. Two minutes. Okay, right now God is beginning to visit some families here. He's beginning to visit some families. Begin to visit some families here right now. He's visiting some families right now. Right now, 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 right now. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, 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 Holy Ghost. Those are family issues, family issues, family issues. Everything will be uprooted right now. Yes. A highway must be made for the Lord. A highway must be made for the Lord. Sako bale mene kade bala. Fanda babara kapre. Rokas keta para habata. Prasa te kota mena kadia. Begin to proclaim salvation unto the people of your family. Salvation. Salvation. Salvation, salvation, salvation. For Zion, call it, Zion, try it. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus mighty name. <laughs> now you see, somebody is wearing a belt, a belt that God did not give you. You are wearing a belt. Father, let that belt break. Let that belt break. Let that belt break. Let it break. Let it break. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now hold your peace. The anointing is coming on the person wearing that belt. It's coming on you. I feel the movement. Lord, let you be stronger. Let you be stronger. Let you be it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's stronger. It's stronger. It's stronger. It's stronger. Holy Ghost! Move! Bring that person. Now I want you to know that we don't make things up when we say we are seeing this. No. It's because an angel touched me. You see, if you are in the city, you can interact. You can mingle into the activity and understand the direction. heavy weight that you have worn. Go 
today I set you free free take a drink take a drink take a drink drink of the river of my city You see, this young man, from today, he will begin to excel. You will excel. There is a drink in my city I want to give you. One, take one more drink and then you'll be okay. Oh man. Oh man. See, what is happening to you is not you, it's your family. The chains are breaking. They are breaking. You are being released. You are being released. Father, let her be released. 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 Her be released. Right now, Lord. Right now, Lord. Now, if you can, you may be seated because of time. I don't want to hold us beyond. This is one of those days where one of those days where we'll come in contact with the reality of the realm of the spirit. I want you to touch that realm. If you are viewing the earth from that realm, the earth is not real. It's not real. That realm, the only things you will see are human spirits and the spiritual dimension that holds the earth. And it from afar it's like a mist it's not real you think the spirit realm is not real no that's the parent realm we came everything you are seeing came from there that's the real realm now are you with me as we go on, on the, with the lecture we'll open up many things that will give you the skills to trample upon serpents to put your feet upon snakes and scorpions and on the powers of the enemy and nothing what? It's a day of songs. Just like Elijah was released from a place without a name. And he came to proclaim a kingdom. Proclaim the power that resides therein. To manifest the glory thereof. Hallelujah. Sons of righteousness will be dispatched from the city of God. That we wreck pillars upon the earth. That we gather all the stones out so that the chariot of the king, Messiah, can run across. These are those days when the devil will be put to open shame. And you are part of those people that God wants to use. The least among us will be as strong as David. Now the time has come for the spirit realm to become a realm you can touch, can handle. You can act to it. Because it brings you not to a place but to a city. Many things take place there. Hallelujah. You are not allowed, you are not permitted after this conference to go back bound. No. You must go back with the designation of a deliverer. And any land you set foot upon, you shall take it as a possession. You can stop wars. You can change the weather. You can bind the rain. You can break a curse. And in the place of death, you can invoke life. I've learned a new way to pray for the sick. I just say, leave. It's easier. That one is easier. <laughs> I found out that's easier than binding. Leave. Hallelujah. Leave. <laughs> You know, we had we had a great service in Kaduna after but and one of our sisters here brought her other sister that was sick genotype SS they just discharged her she was looking lame hallelujah and they brought her for prayers the prayer was short leave 
Hallelujah. Live. Then I told her, after 14 days, go and do a test. Then she went after 14 days, did the test, contacted my wife and said the genotype changed. From SS, it became AS. I just heard some, another part of the story. The, late, the sister came and said that the father came back from a journey and said, no, let's go to another lab. And Where are you? Did they find anything different? Was it the same thing? They found the same thing. AS. I, I can't tell you why it's not AA. I can't tell you. But there was a shift from where? SS to what? Tell your neighbor, leave. Many signs and wonders will take place before this conference comes to an end. Many signs. There is a city here. There's a city here. There's a city here. Hallelujah. Because of time, we need to break camp. But you know, the service has not ended. If you feel it in your spirit, the power of heaven that is powering the service is still on. So don't be a carnal man and say, ah, service don't finish. No. As when you are in the bus, connect. Ooh. He wants to cause trouble now. This thing is good. <laughs> you know, when I went to heaven, the room I, I was taken to was the room of music. I heard sounds. Not this kind of sounds. Sounds. His strings just has six six strings. Oh, is this is a beggarly world. You think the colors are just the seven colors of the rainbow? Roy beef. You joke. There are more than a thousand colors in heaven. More than a thousand. And there are realms, the realms, universes. Based on your spiritual level, you will dwell in a realm. Your perspective of Jesus, huh? the light, that light is the city, is based on your spiritual maturity. And let me confound you. Let me confound you. It's easier for you to grow in the spirit here than to grow there. Uh, you didn't hear that one. <laughs> it will take a yawns for you to change and I talk an iota of your level is easier here when you confront the devil and refuse to yield. Grace is poured out. Grow as much as you can. Grow right now. This is the time of your greatest opportunity. The room of music, that's why when you play in the flesh, I will catch you. Because the sound is not there. <laughs> It's time for us to eat the bread of heaven. So that like the children of Israel, your garments can grow on your body. You'll do the supernatural naturally and the natural supernatural. You become more of a creature of heaven than a creature of earth. Through your hands, things will be established from the realm of God. When you say him, it's established unto you. You operate not just by the spirit, but by the spirit of faith. Where you declare things that 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 are not as true, they were. And when you say it, it cannot be a lie, so it must come to pass. There is great power in the kingdom that we function from. And God, we have your eyes enlightened. And then you will see that the least among us can only be as strong as David. And he that is strong in our cup shall have the strength of the angel of the Lord. I know the place of which I speak. It's not a place of flesh and blood. And nothing that makes a lie shall enter in. Ah. As we progress, 
you will see that God's desperate intention is to bring the civilization of heaven into the earth and he will do that through the sons of God that's why you came to receive a badge that anywhere you go you put a pillar of that city and raise his flag ah these are the best days to be alive <laughs> these are the best days to be alive and before we bow our head from this life we would have proven that the devil lied in the beginning <laughs>